We all know the dangers of sexting, where teenagers text provocative photos of themselves. A picture of two Pennsylvania teens in their bras ended up on a classmate's cell phone. Now, 15-year-old Marissa Miller and her friend face child pornography charges, but they're suing to stop the charges from being filed. Joining us from Pittston, Pennsylvania, for an exclusive interview is Wyoming County District Attorney George Skumatic, Jr. And with me here in Los Angeles is CBS News legal analyst Lisa Bloom. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Mr. Skumatic, let morning. me begin. Good morning. Let me begin with you, Mr. Skumatic, because at the center of this case is high school student Marissa Miller. What exactly did she do wrong? Well, frankly, that's not the issue uh, before the federal court. Uh, the issue before the federal court is whether or not uh, the federal court has the right to interfere with the separation of powers uh, of my office and any district attorney across the country from deciding when to file criminal charges. Uh, we could have taken the easy way out here and simply filed charges against these children and we wouldn't have been here. And what but charges? we offered them a, a way out, a way to avoid charges. Uh, before you get to the offer that you made, can you tell me what charges you could have filed? What laws did they did she break? Well, we, we could have char we could have filed charges of, of either uh, sexual abuse of children in Pennsylvania, criminal use of a communications facility, or open lewdness, uh, and other there were other possible charges also. Uh, but like I said, we what we elected to do instead of is around the country where they've simply arrested these children, is to simply made them an offer to avoid prosecution, to avoid a criminal record of any sort, and developed a, an educational program to help them understand the true dangers of this and the long-term effects of this on them uh, and their future. Well, she said no to that offer. Are you going to have her arrested? Well, actually, they, they never did say no. They filed this lawsuit before they said no. I've never heard an official no from them. Tell me about the lawsuit that Marissa's mother and two other parents have filed a lawsuit against you. Why? What, is that law what does that lawsuit say? Basically what they're seeking is they're seeking a federal judge to say whether or not I can file criminal charges against them. So frankly, what they're asking the federal court to allow is, is to allow you to go out, commit a crime, run to the federal courthouse before you can be arrested and file, char file papers saying, please don't, make, please don't allow them to arrest me. It's going to violate my civil rights. When that's not how the system can possibly work. To allow this type of action would allow anyone to plan a crime, commit it, run to the federal courthouse, and then file paperwork saying my rights are being violated. Don't let them arrest me. Mr. Schumatic, doesn't And then avoid arrests for years is it... Yeah, does this seem like a case of um, kids just being kids and not realizing they were committing a crime when they did whatever that it is they did? Well, in, as you well know, ignorance of the law is not a defense. And that's why we took the, took the stance we did and not immediately arrest them. Mm. That's why we tried to offer this program to avoid that. In the last few seconds, Lisa, let me turn to you. What do you make of this case? Well, this is a couple of young girls taking pictures of themselves in bras at a slumber party. And to think that they'd be prosecuted for child pornography, face potentially years in prison, register as sex offenders for the rest of their lives. I mean, have we lost our minds in this country? Teenagers have this brand new technology. They're using it in very foolish ways. It's bad judgment. And I think parents and teachers should punish them. But to subject them to these harsh criminal penalties, I think, is very scary. And we as citizens all have to reconsider what we're doing with our laws, catching so many children up in these kinds of dragnets. Lisa Bloom, uh, District Attorney Schumatic, thank you both. Thank you.